hey, if I got small kids in the back, I'm not going to be going driving crazy in your car and speeding all over the place and doing donuts. You know what I'm saying? Welcome back to the Believe in Yourself Network, man. Thank you for tuning in and watching all these Turo tips, man. I hope you guys are loving it. This series, we're going to dedicate it to the Turo Car Rental Reviews, man. Definitely subscribe to the channel. Give me a like, thumbs up, turn on your notification bells, and leave in the comments what you guys want to see next, man. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Because then you'll get more families renting your car. And why I like families? Because, hey, if I got small kids in the back, I'm not going to be going driving crazy in your car and speeding all over the place and doing donuts. You know what I'm saying? Even though the type of cars I have aren't for that, but like I said, you never know who's going to rent your car. So you just want to keep that in mind. Um, so those are my three extras. Now, extras for you may be beach chairs. They may be, you may only do mileage or, or car seats. Whatever you choose, they have a list. There's, I think they have camping equipment, beach equipment, and then you can put a description of what that is. You know, you can add these different things. You can actually go purchase some things from the store if you want to. Because I think it's important to differentiate your, your listing from others. And there's different ways of doing that. And, and one good way to differentiate is by having extras. Sometimes people are traveling with a small child and they need the car seat. So if I have a car that is priced at the same with someone else, but they don't offer car seat, who you think they're going to go with? Me. If you got somebody that's going camping, and then you have somebody who's priced the same as me, I don't offer camping equipment, but somebody else does. Who you think they're going to go with? The person that offers the camping equipment. So the extras can be used to differentiate your car and allow you to show up better in certain people's searches. You know, especially when you're starting out, it's very, very good and key because Turo's not going to be pushing your car per se, you know, because you don't have any reviews. They don't know if you're a good host yet. So they're not going to really just be pushing you out there. But the more options that you your car has available, the more unique renters it will be. It might show up at the top of some people's lists. You know, top three, that's always good because you want to be on that first screen. And that's what these extras do for you. It's kind of like a SEO type of thing. You know, if you have extras, certain extras get you to get certain views and certain places and certain things, man. So I just wanted to hammer that home. The main point that I wanted you guys to get out of this video is that extras are a vital part of a Turo host uh, listing. Even if there's not an extra in your mind that you can come up with. The two that I gave you, gas and mileage, I think are pretty much, I, I would say if you're gonna follow me, mandatory. You must have those two extras at minimum. At minimum, just to allow you, just, it's just gonna differentiate you, for, differentiate you and put you in more listings for other people who thinking like you may be thinking at this time. And I hope I changed your mind. Until next time, man. You guys have a great day and keep believing out there. Peace. As long as you believe you can't make it, you won't make it. Because if you believe that you can do it, you will do it.